All right, yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Q, back at it again with another video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to cook up some R&B type beats. I'm gonna be using some sampled material, so we're just gonna jump in right to the video. All right, so I already got a sample picked out. It's called Compassionate 69 BPM. It's from this library from my boys over at Unknown Library. I have a link down in the description, so if you want some free fire melodies, go ahead and uh, hit that link. The one I'm gonna be using is this one from Mike B's Mixed Emotions Loop Kit. So I got this sample right here. You can tell as soon as I play it, it's gonna be, it's, it's got that R&B vibe to it. So I got the sample routed to Mixer Track 1, and then as you can see, I already have a preloaded EQ. Hold on a second. I got a preloaded EQ just with the uh, low end cutout. I'm going to cut around 127. I'm going to make it a sharper cut just to really make sure we get rid of those lows. And I'm also going to add a high filter, a high cut filter, just to get rid of some of those highs, just to make it sound a little bit more like it's uh, R&B-ish. Like. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add an RC Retro Color. I'm going to turn the distortion down almost all the way maybe to like 9% and the wobble way down because I don't really want any of that part. I'm gonna turn off the magnetic and also turn off this EQ down here, but I'm gonna just basically be using this noise just to add that like record vibe. All right, cool. So I'm pretty much just gonna instantly start on the drum. So what I'm gonna do is bring this pattern one into the library, drag it out just for the full four bars and I'm gonna duplicate it over. Just cause the sample is only four bars, mainly cause it's only at 69 BPM. So I'm gonna be using this kit called uh, this right here is uh, Benny X. It's like a pop kit. So it has like a lot of like pop style drums. So I'm gonna just start laying down some drums and I'll kind of go over my, uh, my routine for doing this. All right, so final part and most fun part, bass. So I'm gonna try and find like some kind of 80s bass, maybe like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back and forth, just test out what sounds good. So I'm gonna start out with this 80s bass that I know is in profit. So I'm gonna go to bass right here. It's like this 80s bass and just see if we can get this to sound right. All right, so the main loop's done. So now we're gonna move on to the most important part to beats like this, which is your arrangement. Something I notice a lot of times is people you will use automation in beats like this. So you might add like a free love filter and just have that come in and out. But we'll see what I do. Yeah. Turn it up, Q. So arrangement's done. As you can see, uh, I added a few effects right here, and then everything else is just taking out pieces. And there's a bunch of automation on the Fruity Love filter, which is on the melody itself and then on the drums. So that's all I got for you guys in this video. This is definitely a different type of video. I've never really made a beat like this. So if you guys learned anything or if you've enjoyed the beat, hit that like button. Tell me what you liked about it. Tell me what you didn't. And let me know what you want to see for next video. Make sure to hit those bell notifications. Turn those on so you know when I'm uh, 
when I'm uploading. But that's all I got for you guys. Check out the links in the descriptions. I got drum kits, I got loop kits. Check out the sample library I use in this one. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.